please welcome Mary Louise Parker, everybody. Mary Louise Parker. Lovely to see you. Thank you. You look sensational. Do you mind if I say that? No, say it. You look sensational. Look at you with your... If you don't mind me saying so, it's a little bit sexy science fiction. Oh, because the top, it's like kind of Star Trek-y? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. My shoes are a little... A little bit. The gold shoe. It's kind of like, oh, we have a planet with no men and we need... (laughs) We need men to help us repopulate our planet. And I'll be like, oh, all right, yeah. Just a little fantasy. I was running in my. Hey, uh, the the. Uh, I was talking today to a guy called Ken I, Tucker. Yes. Now Ken Tucker is to is the uh, is the Entertainment Weekly TV guy. Right. Very nice man. Right. I was talking to him today, and he said, "Hey, Mary Lou Parker's on your show tonight." I said, "Yes." He said, "Will you ask her about the naked business that's going on with her How right bizarre. now?" What, what does he mean by well, that? Because this woman did an article on me, and somehow we were talking about the scene that I did where I was naked, and I said something about the editing. I didn't love the way it was edited, but it was something, and it turned into like Parker furious about nude scene. So oh, she really? like goaded into being naked. And Are like, you furious about your nude scene? Why? Well, it's like, if you look at my career, it's like somebody sneezes and I take my clothes off. It's just like ridiculous. <laughs> Really? Well, it was just weird because, like, I was in Times Square with, naked with a big snake wrapped around me. And, I love like, you. She just, <laughs> Good for you. She Why? She's like, I think she didn't have anything. I think maybe my interview was boring, so she didn't have anything to say. She made up this whole thing that I was really angry about the nude scene. But well, I was naked. Well, do that sometimes. So it's, I, I blame the internet. Yeah. I blame the internet and I blame anyone under 35. Okay. That's not me. I'm, I'm angling for, uh, you know, Andy Rooney's job, basically. But uh, No, I think it's because people need to have something uh, to, you know, need a hook for their story. Exactly. So they, ma- they make up something that exactly. you're mad about. Yeah. I'm actually furious about uh, the treatment of hamsters. What happens to them? I, I, I don't know, but I, if There's I knew what was something. going on, I'd be yeah. angry about it. That's... Well, it's, I don't know, because my show has... Sex and drugs and stuff. So I don't know why she yeah, went. No, that's that's good. That that's that's one of the good, really? one of the many good things about the show that you're on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. smoke well, a lot of pot yourself, or do you not really so much? Don't. But I've been thinking of taking it up because really? I'm turning 45, and I thought I should Get do away. something on my birthday and have yourself pierced yeah. somewhere. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing to do. I, uh, you know, Billy Connolly, the Scottish mm-hmm, comedian. Mm-hmm. He talks about when he turned fifty, he had his nipples pierced. Oh, okay. And he said the best part of it was when the guy pierced his nipples. He heard the guy saying under his breath, "That's one less of them, one more of us." <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that great? That is good. Yeah. I, I actually, though, I've won two Stony Awards. Stony Awards. Mm-hmm. What's the it's Stony High Award? High Times Magazine. It's the. Um, I guess Magazine for people that enjoy herbal yeah, cigarettes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and I've won it twice, and they gave me a great big bong, a glass bong. <laughs> it's bigger than the Emmy, actually. It's on my shelf. Wow. It's beautiful, and it had some product in it. No! <laughs> yeah. But, and I had a, uh, I couldn't go to the ceremony, so they Not legally, it. anyway. <laughs> so they had me um, tape my acceptance speech, and... The gentleman, I th- he was one of the cameramen or something. He came up to me afterwards with his girlfriend, and they were like, they were maybe a little high. Maybe a little high. And um, they said, will you marry us? I was like, well... What do you mean, marry? Get, yeah. So you're married to them, those two no. girls? Are like, <laughs> no, would you like, Oh, like you perform the ceremony. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, right, 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 right. But they didn't say officiate because they were too high, essentially. <laughs> like, would you marry us? And... I said, well, you know, I'm a, an actress. I'm not ordained. And they said, that's fine. Just, and they were really sweet. And they said, just say something like, you're married. So I, just, I said, you know, you're both really hot and you have great hair. And <laughs> I, I hope you live happily ever after. And they just fell on each other making out. It was really sweet. And I hope that they made it wherever you are. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I wish I'd got married like that a couple of times. Have you been married more than once? Oh, have you? It's the third. Three, well. Yeah, three. It's a charm. Yeah, you know it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially this one, because it has the GPS position. <laughs> And the, uh, How's it going, this marriage? Is it's it good, going? actually. This really? one's good. Yeah, I like her. Yeah, no, yeah. I've been married six months. I still like her. Well, it's, it's not, it's yeah, not yeah. a given, yeah. Yeah, no, but it's good because this has got the uh, stripper repellent as well. It, it, it gives off this kind of high-pitched whine, and strippers are like, ah, and run out. <laughs> I, I, I haven't tried it, but I heard, I heard that it does. Right, and it sets right. off an alarm at home, apparently, as well. Like what? For the, what? If stripper approaching, like, call the cops. Right, you know, right, right, something right, like that. Right. Yeah. Do you ever been married? I've not. I've been in, engaged like one or five times. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's good that I didn't. Well, I don't want to say anything. No, that's all right. Lovely don't have gentlemen, to. all. Yeah, I'm maybe sure. Maybe two of them, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, relationships with men when you're a woman seem to be difficult. I know as a man, having relationships with women is sometimes is the most single challenging thing that ever happens in my life. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's difficult. Why can't men and women get along? Can you tell me why? I think sometimes they can. They can, actually. I yeah. love men. So I, I, I'm not a woman who hates men. So Really? Um, yeah, I That's do. That's good. I really like your gender a lot. What do you like about us? It's funny that you ask that because I write for Esquire sometimes and I wrote something about why I love men and it's going to be in the August issue and I think I'm partially naked also. So. Oh, well, there you go. You come full circle. Yeah. But, but what do you like about men? Give us a, a taste, a teaser of the article. Well, the article's sort of a litany. It's sort of a poetic litany, so I can't... I wouldn't right. really yeah. be. Yeah. But, um, I don't know what that means. <laughs> but, I mean, I just like... I like that they're... That you're different from me, and I like the way that you smell, and I like smell? the hair. You like men smell? I even like the bad, then when they smell bad. Really? You like bad men smell? Sometimes. Like... If I like them. Do you, do you have a dog? No, I don't like dogs. You don't like dogs and you like I men? I what don't the hell like is that? Dogs, They're kind of the same. <laughs> that's weird, because I've got this dog that's very farty, and I'm kind of trying to get rid of it. And... <laughs> And, you know, maybe if you like bad smells, you... Yeah, yeah. Not that kind of smell. You know, if you really like someone, then their smell is Oh, yeah, no, I, no, I get that. Like, I get that, yeah. I, I like my wife's and... smell. Do you? Yeah, I do. Even I... if she's been, like, jogging or... Like... She, she doesn't go jogging. <laughs> she doesn't go... Does she ever sweat? Yeah, she, doesn't, she doesn't sweat. She kind of fans herself. <laughs> Sometimes she shines in a ladylike fashion. Right. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. yeah, I love the idea of my wife jogging. She doesn't jog. She's just, no, no, no. no, she doesn't do that. She, you know, she drives occasionally. She drives. But not with me in the car. I, I don't, don't drive. You don't drive at no, all? No, no, no. And it's better that I don't. Yeah. It must be a great time living in L.A. and not driving. It's hard, yeah. I yeah. have to have people drive me. Because I'm a really, truly, I'm truly a bad driver. Right. Like I, keep, I daydream and I can't. But well, don't, don't drive anymore. You don't want to be driving in the, no, the great blue children, city. No, I have and I don't want to be driving them, so... No, you don't. Do you have a driver, then? I have... You know, yeah, I have to pay various people to drive. That's okay. That's pretty good. But That's... last year, I drove to pavilions twice. So that well, you've great. impressed the hell out of me, I can tell you. <laughs> we're, we're out of time. Mary Louise Parker, everybody. We'll be right back. Knock, knock. Who's there? Weeds. Weeds. Who? Whoa. I forgot the question, too. You're a freak, but you're a sexy freak. Want to see it again? Yes, please. <laughs> please welcome Mary Louise Parker, everybody. Mary Louise yeah. Parker, how are you, my dear? <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, you all right? Yeah, I'm that good. was a bit of a racy scene, kissing that girl yeah. in that prison. Yeah, yeah, kind of like the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> did you that. kiss girls in the 80s? I think I did. I, I did. Mean, <laughs> we were in the same neighborhood, so... We were? I could have kissed you, I don't know. Yeah, in the Lower East Side. We were in the Lower East Side, because I, well, I worked to save the robots. Yeah, well, I used to hang out down there at, like, 7A. That's eight. weird, because now I have a robot. <laughs> I saved him. I found yeah. him in a dumpster. 
Serendipity, yeah. Yeah, no, I used to work at the nightclub Save the Robots. You you went there? Well, yeah, but I mostly went to King Tut's Wawa Hut. I went to King Tut's Wawa Hut. Yeah, were you there? They had that performance art that night when that guy sat on the toilet and everybody went in the bleachers and, yeah. I don't remember that, but I remember... <laughs> It doesn't mean I wasn't there, I just don't remember that. <laughs> no, I, and I, I remember, do you remember the, the guy that was on the fish hooks and was taken across the street? Like they put this kind of pulley system on and he put fish hooks all over his body and then they, they pulled him across the street. Ow. And then, yeah, yeah. Ow. And you, oh, it was, uh, it was yeah. very bad. <laughs> P people were weirder then or maybe high. Were you very high in the 80s? I wasn't high, but I was pretty weird. I was drunk sometimes. It's amazing because you're not anymore. It's so, uh, <laughs> well, what, in what kind of way were you weird? Um, I mean, it was just the 80s, so I just wore lots of, you know, like, leathered, graffiti things and... That's all right. You know. uh, that's not weird. <laughs> yeah. And you were drunk a lot? Uh, here and there. I mean, I don't really remember. It well, that would, be, that would imply you were, then. I didn't then. drink a whole lot, but... Um, yeah, I went to like Dream Factory. There was like, another one. Did you ever go to the Roxy over on the West Side? No. Oh yeah, I no, went. No, I didn't go to the West Side. You never go to the West Side? No. What's, what's wrong with the West Side? I don't know. It was, uh, You're one of those girls that would never yeah. go to the West Side. Yeah. Looks to me like you were going to the West Side in that <laughs> cell with that girl there. Yeah. <laughs> so let me ask you again. You ever been to the West Side? You know what I'm saying? It's yes, yeah, and I I have a lot of that on my show. What, a, a, lot, lot of, like, a lot of girls kissing? Yeah, well, you know, like a lot of like, I have a lot of love scenes and a lot of like beating and biting and... Yeah, you yeah. have got a hickey. I didn't I want to bring it up, but you do. It's like, what's going on? Yeah, it's, uh, I just came straight from work, but... Um, oh, so you've got a hickey? <laughs> from an actor. In oh, place. well, that's fine then. I suppose that's all right if it's from an actor. Well, the director was kind of shy about calling cut for some reason and we couldn't hear him in the room and the actor kind of... And I was like, this is getting awkward. And finally someone came in and said, cut. And I guess he kind of misunderstood the fact that I was meant to have a hickey in the next scene. So he, he gave you a hickey? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I got a hickey once from a Dyson vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Proper amount of suction. <laughs> do you have one of those? Do you do your own vacuuming or do you have a staff? Do you do your own vacuum? I do. I love really? to I actually like to vacuum. But I have I someone like who vacuums vacuum. as well, but... Do you know, there was a very famous British actor called Kenneth Williams who used to like to vacuum in his underwear. That's how he got sexual satisfaction. Oh, nice. Yeah. It doesn't take much. I, uh, I tell you, I see it now. I mean, I do it myself. Put on a bit of underwear, walk around with that thing sure. going... Rrr, in yeah. your hand all over the floor. Yeah. Vibrational pull, yeah. Vibrational pull? Well, yeah, from... You can't do that. Now you've got kids running around the house. You can't I be do, vacuuming. Yeah, but my your daughter own. likes to vacuum. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't make her vacuum. No, you, I, no I was going to say there are probably yeah, laws fine. against that. No. <laughs> Tidy up the house while mama's out earning money. No, she likes to clean the house. Actually. Well, that's not wrong. Not with that her. my house is dirty. It's not dirty? She likes to clean it. No. Well, it's because she's cleaning it all the yeah. time. What age is she? She's five. But five. I don't make her do it, really. Do you make her go up the chimney and clean the chimney? <laughs> All right. Do you read to your children's stories? I do. Do you? What I stories do. do you read them? Well, we read um, the Henry and Mudge books. We read a lot of books by Cynthia Rylant. Mm. And um, we're reading, actually, there's these kids for Shakespeare books. Oh, really? Yeah, they're amazing. Oh, you ever done any they're Shakespeare? Amazing. Yeah, I did um, Richard III at school. And did you have a hump? I did not. I actually played Lady Anne. But, oh, you um, didn't play Richard then? No. All right. <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, my son loves Shakespeare. What is your son? He's seven. Really? Yeah, he woke up the other day, I swear to God. You know, Shakespeare is a gateway to marijuana. Well, you yeah, he that. was a big stoner, you said, right? Right, right, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, it kind of makes sense. But... Well, I don't know. Do you think that's true, that Shakespeare was into smoking? I mean, I, I, don't, I can't put the idea he together. He spent a lot of time indoors. Well, you know, a lot of people spend time indoors without rolling a fatty. I yeah. don't know. I mean, it's... <laughs> I mean, I'm indoors a lot. I, I, many, yeah. many of these times, I'm not smoking marijuana. Well, people give me pot all the time. Do they? Mm. Why? Mm. Oh, because of the show, of course. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, try my pot. It's excellent. It's homemade, a lot of times, people say. That's... I grew it myself. Really? That's the thing I hear. You're not a big pothead, though, are you? No, I try to be gracious. You know, I'm not going to not take it. Are you good? <laughs> you I don't. I have children. You know, yeah, I'm not you... like somebody who's going to go home and like... Well, you're not, you're not somebody that's going to go home, try that pot and say to your daughter, can you vacuum? Can you vacuum the house? Yeah, exactly.
you missed back the spot. Mom, mom, mom was working on her I was just gonna. I was gonna quote some Shakespeare over here in the corner. Would you do it again? What? But you live in New York, don't you? Would I do what? Shakespeare. Which part? Uh, um, well, which part would you do? I'm not a big fan of Shakespeare. Really? Le not. I love to read it. I just don't like to do. You're it. not allowed it's to say verse. you're not a fan of Shakespeare because no, other actors will go, Oh, really? What do you like then? Yeah, no. Nursery rhymes. <laughs> reading it. I just don't like doing it. Really? I don't know. I, I find it quite... I, I mean, the stories are great. I, you know what I hate? I hate when actors get so excited about doing Shakespeare that they're not even human when they're doing it. Like, I love seeing actors. Did you ever see that Richard... Yeah, yeah like, like that. Yeah. You know, no. did you ever see that Richard III where uh, Ian McKellen, it was set kind of during the Second World War in the 30s and uh, Ian McKellen was Richard III. It was fantastic. No. Oh, it was great. It's and all the thing. actors, were, it was a very natural way of talking, but they were actually saying yeah. the, the, the words. But I hate it when they're so like, Good morning, my liege! And I'm like, oh, stop. It's like Monty Python when you do that. <laughs> I know, yeah. Mm. Do you enjoy the Monty Python? I never really watched Monty Python. What the hell's no. wrong with I you? I know, I was... <laughs> I was on the east side. I don't know what I was yeah. doing. You never went to the west side and got a bit no. of Monty Python, know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> All right, well, we're out of time anyway. Do you want a, you want a, a mouth organ, awkward pause, or touch my glittery ball? <laughs> you just have one ball? <laughs> I, I just harmonica. have one ball out. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Good to know. Um, there it's there. The touch my glittery ball, I've got yeah, what, to Yeah, what does that entail? Well, I'm like, not really sure. We're do I still hold it, or do I just... You know, it's what you make of it, really. Oh, right. it's like yeah. anything else. Well, like yeah, life, it's yeah. kind of... We don't really know what it is. It's, it's basically, it's a prop and a dream. Um, <laughs> it's a dream. Oh, that's lovely. Perhaps it is a dream, yeah. maybe to you. Would you like to uh, touch my glittery I, ball? I wouldn't have thought that I would, but I, I want to touch your ball, I do. Yeah. Well, I'll just get it on its very prestigious and expensive stand. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> And what you do is just act your way towards it, I guess, and then uh, when you feel the moment's right. For my whole... It's up to you. Or... Do you have tattoos on your wrist? I do. You mustn't get tattoos on your wrist. Ah! Oh. oh, my God. What does that say? Welcome to Jamaica. Have a oh, nice day. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, this one doesn't say that. The other one says that. This one, this one says join or die. Oh, nice. Yeah, Benjamin. This is, like, this is from work. Well, what, what is? is the one on one, it's in Russian. Wait, oh, hang on, hold on. Oh, hang on, let me... Oh, yeah, I can see it. Hold on. Yeah. It, it says Russian. Actually, um, anybody on set who guesses what it means gets $500, so... Really? Or a home viewer, if you can guess. Yeah, uh, if you can guess what this is, uh, someone not associated with this show will give you $500. <laughs> $500? Yeah. That's the entire budget for the year in this town. <laughs> Anyway, you're not touching my glittery ball. I've changed my mind. Oh, really? So, let me touch it. I okay, then. Touch it. See, and that's maybe the bit. That's maybe the touch my glittery yeah. ball. Yeah. Oh, you take it away. Yeah, I take it away. Oh. All right, go. No. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> Why don't we when? touch it? We could touch it together. Yeah, I like I that. I don't really know. I mean, we, we shared a decade, so. That's true. Yeah. Do you think we met? No. Uh, we might have hooked up. I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, you would. <laughs> Yeah. Nobody gets that drunk, sister girl. Uh, All right. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. Mary Lou Sparker. Everybody.